big wave finally comes to swallow the sunset, I'll be waiting, open-armed on the sunrise side of the Golden Gate Bridge arms, outstretched to meet the ocean, knowing I'll only survive this two-mile high wall of water if I imagine it's you. Hi. My name is Sam. I think I'm gonna go over time so you get to see me covered in water. For Hart Crane, on the 78th anniversary of his death and on my first learning he had ever lived, before our worlds turn into wormholes and our typewriter's block builds a death sentence into our young queer hearts, spelling out self-destruction giant big across that silent sky, you word-spoken anti-hero poetics through a broken telephone to nowhere, borrowed a lesser pen to stroke the paper grid into accepting your ink, think there is no place for square pegs like us, heart, I know this. This sinkhole decoder ring future. Depuzzle the present and jigsaw through what remains. Blame the world for not letting you fit into it neat enough. For never letting you write the wasteland happy. In the accident that follows your final speech act, you sight sang a swan song to a life that looked more like a pigeon park dance party than any first flight. Suicide night swallowed all your poems till your gut bust book binding thick. This, it's a reason to write. This is a reason to live, get dead, then get published, I know this. But weren't you curious how your life would be read by a world that might curl your every word around its tongue that could love you as much as you hated yourself? They have erected your golden statue of limitations in a parking meter's playground, waiting for your work to expire, for you to run out. But you were born with a silver gun in your mouth and have been waiting your whole life to make love to that trigger. Never knew that splatter paint ricochet could leave you here, empty in the canons of children's curriculum systems, stiff in teachers' rulers, whitewashed on the washed whiteboard, basically invisible, but still bursting through the surface. I too know what it is like to speak cursive in order to hide better in my words. I too know what it's like to live in a world where our love letters are read as ransom notes. Tell me, heart, was your New York on the horizon when you spoke your final opus, said goodbye, everybody, then dove headfirst into the Gulf of Mexico, never to resurface. You deep sank quick into quicksand sleep. Went to bed beneath those history thick waters where all queer writers go to rest in peace. Know our love has never been cheap. Know our poems know how to code switch in their sleep. Know this, that beneath that salt cold water ocean is an auditorium packed past fire code waiting to hear you speak. Thank you. Oh, I got, I got hella poems on. Yeah, true story. Um, it was a haiku. Knew I was too drunk when I took out my house keys to get on the BART. <laughs> true stories. Yeah, and it's like that. Awesome. Yeah, I tried to do that in Cleveland. They didn't get it. Cool, this is going to be my last poem. Thank you for listening. Awesome. Can you see my eyes? Yes. Yes. They're the window. Yeah, they're the windows. Eyeliners for this song. I never wanted to be a real boy. I was born with a two by four for a sternum, wood chip on my shoulder, driftwood for legs and matches. Hiding in my fingertips, it seems I have always been destined to burn. Trapped in my mother's belly, something woman and blue hid life inside my tinderbox gut, barely the size of a whisper. As she breathed, this firewood form into bloom, I am told, 
They all thought I was such an empty and beautiful child, a hand puppet waiting to be filled, so they tell me, cautious as a chainsaw's bite into bark, Samuel, you will one day grow into a man. Now you are still too gentle with dirt, too God and sex in the same word, men. Your heart is petrified forest and do not soften in the rain. So in classrooms, I learned how to carve my name into the faces of plywood desks, how to not look away as I tore into its flesh, always jealous of the ease with which these other boys seem to fit into their bodies, no hinges where their joints should be, no string tied at the wrist, these rock and scissor boys forever burning wood chips on the playground. I never wanted to be them because real boys become men. And I always found more of myself growing gentle in the dirt of my neighbor's garden than inside the hard bodies of my blood relatives, somehow distant, so distant from them. I am told men, we are dogwood made. We are played by the hands of a world that never knew how to hold us, are meant to make marionettes out of women, play heartstrings like handcuffs. There is a fire in the wild eyes of a boy who knows he will one day grow to become manacles. My desire has always been to find a way for them to fill my softness. Fuck me till I am rosewood paper, cut heartstrings till they're tree rings in their chest. I am a special puppet. Trapped in the belly of a whale, I met my maker. His hands were the touch of redwood and resembled my own. His legs also driftwood. And beneath the cathedral of that beast's rib bone rafters, he told me, cautious as slash and burn, Samuel, you are such an empty and beautiful child. What have you let yourself become filled with? You are still too gentle with dirt to God and sex in the same word. Grow your bark until it covers your silence. Hide inside the shadows of your body. Learn to speak gasoline. Do not have any children. You will not know how to teach them to be men. I am a special puppet. One who never wanted to be real. One who will be performing his whole life.